Welcome back everyone to another episode on Game Mode 4. It's been a little while since last episode. I've kind of been away and I haven't really had a chance to be on Game Mode 4. I had a lot going on, but I'm happy to be having here now because we have missed all sorts. All sorts has been going on. I've been trying to keep up, but there's just been so much happening. It's just insane. The first things that we should probably point out is that my house, or my base area at least, has been invaded by mopeds, by scooters. Somebody has built them up, I'm not entirely sure who. There are some signs over there, so we should go down and have a look. Also, what do you guys think of the new little intro thing there with the Game Mode 4 D logo? Something that I've been doing on Existence, I've been intending on actually having that since I started this season, was a series on Game Mode 4D, but I forgot, essentially, is the short answer there. So what do we have here? These are nice little builds, look at that. Oh, I love it, that's so cool little moped so if you don't know I actually have a little moped myself and I'm assuming that this is where that joke is coming from what do we have here oh no Patrick oh no Patrick on a scooters pa oh, Patrick on a scooters are invading oh gosh the longer you're away the more that will come be wary they are highly dangerous GG I'm assuming that's a giggity gauge Oh my gosh, so these are all meant to be me on a scooter invading my own base. A little bit of a confusing paradox there, but I love it nonetheless. Oh, that is so cool. else has been going on we have a snow globe trophy and also a gold mandala so the gold mandala is for I believe it's for patreon supporters to accidental games to game mode 4d I believe that's what that's for that's pretty awesome we can use it as a normal mandala I think I don't think you can use it up here no it just acts as normal but it's pretty cool we got a gold one now as well as our normal one so this one I'm not sure if we need a replacement or anything but that's pretty cool that we got this and we also have the snow globe trophy to celebrate the holiday, to celebrate the holidays, or I should say the holiday season, but same thing. Rare, non replaceable report of stolen. So this is just another kind of trophy. I think everyone got this one. It's pretty awesome too. I think we can place it down without it breaking. We can find that out later. I know that I've missed quite a lot. I know that I missed the dragon fights. That was quite a big event going on. Unfortunately, I really wasn't just able to keep up with that. But please do let me know what happened with that and what has been happening in general recently because I'm not going to spend too much time trying to find out. That's just time I don't really have at the moment. But by all means, please do update me uh, and let me know what's been going on in the Game Mode 4 community recently because I just haven't been around to keep up with it. What else have we got here? We have a skeleton horse. I'm not sure if this is for me or this is someone else's. Really not too sure there. Uh, but how do we get out like that? And somebody has built a little little platform up there. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't know if it's kind of in my zone, in my space area here. Might have to question that a little bit, but at the moment it's alright just up there. Not not too bothered by it, but I do want to just kind of make it clear that I am planning on utilizing most of the space soon, or at least throughout the season, so just keep, keep away please. <laughs> it's my zone. But anyway, not too bothered by that. That's alright there. But on that, I really haven't been on since the last episode, so I'm really excited to get on here right now and do a little bit of base building, do a little bit of development around here. Might not be looking into too many Game Mode 4 modules at this episode. Maybe playing around with some of the more basic ones, but we'll see how we go. And liquid tanks are fixed, I should mention that too. Apparently they've been broken on and off while I've been gone as well, but it's good to see that they're back up and working now. Special Builder has done just a legendary job with these, it's absolutely incredible. One of my favorite modules on Game Mode 4, but I've been rambling for nearly four minutes now, which is more than I usually do. Let's get right into the episode. First order of business is pretty much just going to be to tidy things up around here. What I'm thinking of doing is basically just tearing everything out that is here at the moment and just opening up the landscape a little bit so we have a bit more room to work with because I really want to just make a, I, I'm thinking kind of like a single track that comes, or pathway that comes right through the middle here and then goes into the mountainside. Because I want this mountainside here to really act as kind of our access point to the other dimensions. I was thinking we could have the big kind of vertical, we could use vertical rails to go straight up to access the aether. And then straight down to access the mining worlds, also known as caves I believe now. They're doing a little bit of uh, renaming of those dimensions, or official naming I should say. 
rather than just mining world one and two. So I think I'll cut down all the trees first and I'll get back to you guys once we've done that and then we can kind of start figuring out how we want to lay things out around here. What do we have here? Just a hidden gift, the gifting man. I did not see this before, this is new. I don't know if this was here before or not, but it definitely wasn't something I noticed initially. Just a hidden gift from the gifting man. Ooh, ooh, oh, diamonds, they are rare, they are very rare. Some sugarcane, fantastic. 11 diamonds, oh my gosh, that's incredible. Magmalock quartz and a slime ball, all very, very rare things. Thank you very much, gifting man. I don't know who you are, but I very much do appreciate that. Especially those diamonds, because I don't know if I've even seen a single diamond ore at this point. All the diamonds I have have been donated to me. 20 diamonds, we are just stacked at the moment. We are so rich. That is fantastic, all from you awesome people. Thank you very much, gifting man. You shall remain anonymous, an, um, anonymous, yikes, but thank you very much. I very much do appreciate that. There's something up in the sky up there, but I can't figure out what it is. It looks like there's a hopper and a dispenser. Is it like a chicken farm or something? I honestly do not know. I'm going to grab the skeleton horse. I actually, if anyone knows... Whose skeleton horse this is? Is it for me? Is it that person's up there? I really don't know, but it's on my land, so I'm going to take it anyway. I'll try not to kill it. I want to go find out what this floating thing is. I want to get underneath it, because it looks like it's definitely dispensing something downwards. Oh. Oh, hello. That, that's new. And there's a sign over here. This is for free. Take it. Oh, somebody's been building over here. Nice. Okay, well, I'm going to go find out what that floating thing is. Get right underneath it. We're not too far away, so it must be just up here. See what's going on around here. Okay, so it looks like we're approaching a little bit of a population around here. There's animals and more growth going on. Magma blocks under there. Pathways everywhere. A little bit of a civilization near us. Where is that thing in the sky gone? Oh, we've gone past it. So I'm really not sure what it's meant to be leading to. Unless it's like a um, water elevator or something, which it very well could be actually now that I think about it. So this is right underneath it here. Huh. Interesting. If anyone knows whose area this is or what that actually is up there, by all means, let me know. Like I said before, I really want to utilize this cliff face or this cliff and mountain here for our kind of base setup. And I'm thinking this little cavern area up there might be a cool place to possibly set things up. I'm wondering how I want to do it. I'm thinking maybe this area here and upwards. I'm not too sure if I'm really going to need this whole space down here. We'll probably see how we go. But I might try and pull things over this way a bit more and work our way into up here and kind of into the mountainside. It's a shame we've got a bit of cloud cover at the moment so you can't really see too much up there. But I might just dig up or climb up there first and have a little look around and see what our options are up there. There's a little bit of a cave up here, actually. Oh, Ooh, it does go up a little bit more. Oh, it goes to the other side. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Oh, wow, we can get around here. Oh, cool. I didn't realize that was there. Sweet. So this is a nice little spot up here, actually. I might make use of this. It's not as big as I initially realized. It's actually quite small, but it does cut through here. There's a little opening. We just break through there. Ooh, hello. Right, no, change my mind. We'll just stay out of there for now. And just for safekeeping, we'll do that too. So, yeah, it's a lot of a much smaller area than I first realized. But I think it might be all right. If I kind of clear this out a little bit and flatten it down, it might be okay. We do get a nice view from up here. Actually, I just looked over there before and looked really cool with all the fog and all that. Took a cool little screenshot. Um... Not sure, this area is just a lot smaller than I first realized. I might have to do a little bit of rethinking and see how we go. I've dug a tunnel. That is all I've done, I haven't done that much, but just cuts through the mountainside here and comes up around the hill. Obviously, there will be stairs and stuff later on. Then I'll swoop around here, a little bridge, cuts through here and right into the middle part here of this little opening that we came up to just before. Oh, hello creeper. Right, so what's going to happen here is straight down the middle here, I'll dig all this part out. 
there will be a elevator using vertical rails that will run right up to the top. We will have a platform for the Aether and right down to the bottom we will have a little area to get to the caves dimension. It's going to be interesting to see how I do it. I'm not entirely sure where I want kind of the main station point. I was thinking up here. It just depends how I kind of want to take the direction of my base. I was starting to think of doing something like having all sorts of bridges and just access points to different parts of the mountain I thought would be kind of cool. We could have things going across the valley side here. Not really too sure. I'm trying to just trying to figure it all out at the moment. But at the moment I just want to get used to the whole crossing dimensions things. I'm not even sure if I want to like make this the main dimension. We could definitely make like... I don't know if we could make the Aether or the Caves dimensions or even Lush or something. Our main dimension. I'm just not too sure at the moment. Or if we have kind of things split up around the different parts of the... I guess universe you could say. It's pretty interesting to really just wrap your head around the whole dimensions thing. Still getting used to it. It doesn't help that I've been away for quite a little while. So we'll see how we get on. But for the meantime I'm probably going to dig a 3x3 hole from top to bottom. And just work with that afterwards. little time lapse of us digging out the tunnel right from top to bottom. It's only about 140 at the Y level so we've still got quite a bit to dig up. I didn't realize it was that low down. But oh well I just realized there are llamas up there. There are a lot of llamas. Anyway I should probably point out we have got the January Patreon trophy. That's right we got another Patreon trophy already. It just shows how long I've been recording this episode. It's a pretty awesome missing texture little head there that's pretty cool. I assume it's actually a missing texture. Like it's textured to be like that and not just actually missing the texture. But anyway we also have over here Pete Sugar made with love. This is from Sparks. This is actually part of my Patreon pledge which I didn't even realize that I was meant to request for it but it's part of the loot boxes that Game Mode 4D is now doing. There's more information on that on the website but because I'm pledging five dollars and up on the Patreon each month I receive one myself. Peach could made with love. Now I believe I meant to do something with this. Sparks said throw it on the ground or something? Maybe not. Maybe it's not that chest. I'm not entirely sure what I meant to be doing. Ah, loot voucher. Never mind. Okay. Peach could made with love. Maybe that's from somebody else. I think I know who that's from. We'll get to that in a second. <laughs> right, loot voucher. This makes more sense. Throw them on the floor to activate this voucher. 1.8 modules chest. So yeah, I requested to get the 1.8 modules loot box. Ooh, new recipes unlocked. So I believe we just got to throw this somewhere with a bit of open space, if I remember correctly. So let's just run down here, maybe, and see what happens. Oh wow, that's really cool. That is so cool! That must have taken ages to program. My gosh, that's so awesome. So what do we have here? Ooh. So these are like trading cards. By Moon. Are they all by Moon? Oh, they're all by Moon. Oh, that's so cool. So these are all different 1.8 modules that are around. Ooh, Orbis, liquid tanks, heart canisters. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, do they just stack? Oh no, we got multiple heart canisters. That's all right. That's all right. Let's just grab them all out. Hang on. Let's just move these all off my hot bar here. Let's grab them all out. So we've got two heart canister ones and two enchantment extractors. All good. So sunken treasure. What's that one? XP storage, heart canisters, orbis, liquid tanks. Love liquid tanks. Enchantment extractors. I've I love enchantment extractors. I've never actually got to play with it, but it's so cool. And trap signs. Awesome. So we're going to be getting those monthly I believe. We actually were possibly meant to get them last month but I'd never actually requested them so it's my fault there. But that's so cool. So we'll be gathering those up over time and I believe we might be able to trade them and such with other players. I'm not entirely sure how it works but that is so awesome. Alright so enough of looking at all our new goodies and our new presents. We also have the peach sugar. I'm going to go double check. I think that I know who that's from. So let's have a quick look here. Check my discord quickly. 
Yeah, so it's from Maris Barras. I'm probably saying that completely wrong. But yes, thank you very much for the peak sugar made with love. Let's just pop you in there. I'm going to sort out all these chests eventually soon anyway. Right, so I need to do a little bit of designing and figure out how I'm going to approach this elevator design here. So I'll get back to you guys in a second. Welcome to my single player world. It's been a little while since I showed this on camera. It must have been back in an old existence episode at least. Or possibly that game mode 4 episode. That's a little throwback for Public Server 3 for you. Some of you should recognize that. But anyway, this is kind of the little idea I've come up with for the meantime. I've had a lot of trouble trying to figure out how I want to do this whole elevator shaft thing with the vertical rails and all that. And I've been trying to use a theme that's a little bit different to what we normally had. And I keep coming back to wood and wood and wood and wood and stone occasionally. So this time I've kind of gone the other way and I'm trying to make it as heavily stone based as I can. And I'm trying to pick an accent color as well. And red has come out quite nice. The other option I also was trialing was magenta. Because I had a look and I was trying to figure out which was going to be the easiest dye to acquire. Initially, oh, oops. Initially I wanted to do blue, but blue was just going to be probably too expensive at the meantime anyway. I'm not sure what it will be like down the line uh, as we build up resources and such later on. But for the meantime, I was trying to just use tall flowers to see which we could easily produce dye from. And the magenta's a bit bright. I would have preferred to use the purple, but purple needs a lapis. So I think I'll just stick with the red for now because I can use tall roses for that, or rose bushes I should say. But I'm going to try gather up some resources and see if I can kind of start building away at this just to see how we get on with the initial part of the tower or of the, I guess, elevator shaft, I should say. Now, it always just happens to be nighttime every single time I try to record and it's so frustrating. They decided not to install one player sleeping, which is perfectly fine. Nothing against that, uh, but it does make it real inconvenient. Every time I want to record, I swear it's nighttime. And recently there's been raining quite a lot too, which I find quite interesting. But anyway, I've managed to build up the part of the tower here. This is a very, very small amount of what it needs to be. So essentially it goes from this little base platform here up to the top of the hill, which is just getting consumed by cloud. And we can actually see the stars through the clouds. That is just a fantastic error of cloud rendering but anyway so it only goes from there to up there it needs to go from the bedrock which is like here all the way up to the top of the sky so that is going to be oof there's going to be a lot of building but let's hit up there now and actually have a look at it it's only simple at the moment there's literally not much here as you can see it's a lot shorter than than it really does need to be <laughs> this is tiny compared to how much we actually have to build I kept off this little part down here because I keep falling down and actually managed to survive. Oh, okay, there goes that piece of cobblestone, but I've got these feather falling four boots, which I think I got myself, but I can't quite remember. Or possibly I might've been given some of them as a gift. I can't quite remember. But anyway, they have saved me so many times when I was digging out this part up here. Uh, I need to quickly grab a bit of cobblestone or something or other just so I can cap that off there we go right so I did actually make up some ladders and rails you I've made plenty of ladders to go around this is just a tiny amount compared to how much I really did make and I've put a little platform up there so we might as well give this a go uh, let's just grab that torch quickly we don't want anything spawning up here now how's this gonna work you have to actually this has been my f no I've used vertical rails before this is a lie let's just try that again place that down and I believe if we just go forward, it should take us straight up. Hopefully we won't get thrown off the edge here. This could be... Ooh wee, look at us go! Woo! Oh, I love vertical rails. This is amazing. This is going to make it so much easier. And, oh, Ah, we passed through... Ow! Okay. That gave me a little bit of a jump there. We passed through a cloud. That's what that was. Let's just get rid of that, because I feel like that is going to catch us out again. Now, that was very... Ooh, that's very... Mystical. Now, can we go back down the ladder? No, we can't. We have to fall down. I believe if we, hmm, if we put that there and ride this straight off down here. Okay, now this could be interesting. We may fall out of here very dramatically. Oh, oh no, no, no. Okay. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Right. So we need to figure out that rail system quite drastically. Oh, yikes. But okay, so the general idea is going to be that we have... Uh, 
I'm trying to think how many different stations or levels we want to have. I'm guessing we'll have one down at the bottom where the bedrock is, one here because we might have some more buildings up around this area. I'm not sure if I want to do one at the top of the mountain range or not, and then definitely one at the very top for the aether. But I'm going to get to that later. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have enough materials to really do much more building, so I'll go take a look. Also, I want to check out those signs quickly. And I think we can wrap things up for this episode, even though it's been a little bit of a progression lacking episode. It's been a while since we had one, so there is an Enderman. Uh, hmm, hmm, I need this Enderman. Like, I need it. Endermen are very, very rare. Let's just quickly... Ooh. It's above me. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's just give it a little bit of room to breathe here. Come on. <laughs> oh, no, don't fall off. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I hope this drops an ender pearl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh wait, there's probably enderman in the moon, isn't there? Okay, this might have been... Hey, we got a block of dirt. Well, that was very unsuccessful. Right. I've been rambling quite a while now. Let's wrap things up here. So our bed is completely covered in fresh diorite. This is another gift from Mara's Burrows. So thank you very much, Mara's Burrows, who also gave us the pet sugar, which I, for some stupid reason, thought was my loot crate or my loot chest from Sparks, but oh well. Lots has been happening in this episode, uh, which is mainly related to the fact that I've been recording it over a number of months. And as the sun is rising, look at that. Beautiful. That is going to wrap it up for this episode, everyone. I deeply apologize with the massive delay between episodes. A lot has been happening for me, like a crazy amount, over the past two months. So definitely go check out my channel update videos if you'd like a little bit more information on that. I'll try to have the next one out sometime sooner. Uh, I've got a few different priorities. I've got to kind of align with existence and game mode 4 and how I want to work things. But for now, thank you guys ever so much for watching. Be sure to let me know down in the comments if there's anything you think I should do with this elevator or any other modules you think could be useful to me. Also, if you could donate any stones or such, that would be muchly appreciated. But don't like go crazy because I know some of you have a ridiculously large amount of resources. Yes, thank you guys once again for watching. Let's go into F5. It's been a while since I've done that. I shall see you all next time.